Alright, what is up everybody? This is the Nine Shark Man here, here once again with a Blaze Black Hack Nuzlocke episode. And I'm ready to take on the gym, I believe. I should check to see if I have to heal my Pokemon. I really should have gotten an episode out yesterday. It was just out of pure laziness that I didn't. So I'll probably record a couple extra episodes right now. Just get him out of the way, so I for sure will have them the rest of the time I need to. Well, without further ado, I will dive into the gym. Here we go. Free water! Always. No, just, just free water. Unfortunately, this is one of the longer gyms, just because of how the gym is set up. Shut up for a second so I can... Okay. Here we go. So just because of how it's set up, it's going to be kind of laggy with how much 3D is involved. And then, uh, then there's the fact that everything takes forever in the first place, so that kind of sucks. So first battle here. Uh, I believe I have Miles in the lead right here. Uh, forgot the A button. Don't know how I did that, but all right, here we go. Against Lady Magnolia. That's an unusual name. Something you never see. Magnolia. I'm sorry if like half my viewers out there are named Magnolia. That'd be pretty funny, ironic, and probably not gonna happen. But if it does, I'm sorry. So, plus hole. Yeah. No. It's slower than me and used Electro Ball. I'm threatened. Alright, just gonna finish that off with a Poison Fang. So, yeah. Kind of uneventful so far. Oh, Joltik. I'm gonna switch out to be safe. You know what? Neutral. Just gonna Acrobat exit. I'm kinda greatly threatened by this gym, because half my- or a, a third of my team is weak to Electric. So I'm gonna be doing very risky and stupid things like this throughout the entire everything, just because I don't have that much better of a matchup anyway. Pichu. It's gonna. I guess I will cycle through everybody while I can in the beginning while all the Pokemon suck. So I'm looking at most likely using. Well, Ninja, of course, because he actually resists Electric. Mike. And probably. Oh, well, probably Chaos and. and uh, and Miles pretty evenly. So in comes Tynamo. I know that thing can't do anything until it's evolved. Unless it's got really boosted. It probably has got a move pool boost, but maybe not a stat boost. Hopefully not a stat boost. I mean, it does evolve. So I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't have anything yet. So I can just kill it with a Night Slash and show Fox off for an episode. Because I'm hopefully not going to have to send Fox out ever again this episode. Because, honestly, it isn't a favorable matchup in the slightest. And that's not even a question at all. Alright, well, that's the first trainer, Magnolia. And back onto the roller coaster. Onto the roller coaster. Here we go. L roller coaster action. Just got to wait for it. Here it is. All right, get on the roller coaster. Close. Lo 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 lo. I just noticed it. It cut off my hat, didn't it? I want my hat on my head. Thank you very much. All right, rich boy, dude, person. Hit the lag in here. It's so bad. Rich boy Cody. That's an unusual name. Alright, so Pachirisu, the thing that should have an evolution but got gypped out of one because 5th gen decided to have no 4th gen or 3rd gen or anything. I, I can understand where they're getting at, but honestly, Emolga should just be an evolution of it. This thing just got ripped off in the end because 
of course, later on, they did have to have everything show up, and then you have two screwed over Pokemon instead of the one that should have just gotten the evolution. So, yeah. Maybe it should evolve by, like, uh... Actually, it would be cool is if it evolved via transfer or something. But then again, then if you caught the other thing... Maybe it could be, like, how some of the Pokemon are in this, like, Rhyperior and such. Like, in 4th gen, I mean. Where they're not actually in the main Pokedex, but they're still there. That'd be cool. So, I've taken heavy damage already, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna switch in Mike, because I haven't sent him out yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch Miles out of the active after this battle, unfortunately. And it's only been, like, two or three battles. But, and that's only because of Confusion, which really sucks. So I probably shouldn't screw around, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Metronome, because Mike is a beast, and probably can get Earthquake or something. Or Water Gun. Well, if anybody's gonna KO I like to buzz with a with a with water gun, it'll be Mike. He's gonna be tanking everything until it just gets demolished by crit, unfortunately. Agility! Cool! Electro Ball can't do crap anymore. Alright. I'm gonna try one more time and then I think I'm gonna go for a mic sweep at this rate. Okay. I'm gonna go with for a mic sweep now, because I'm faster. And I'm probably faster than the rest of his team as well. Jeez, that looked like that hurt. Just imagine getting beaten up by this four-armed monster. Alright, Pikachu, nah. No threat at all. Pikachu, no. Even with a white ball, you stand no chance. Just getting beat up. Actually, ironically enough, that went everywhere around him. And static. <coughs> And my sweep comes to an end. I'm probably gonna have to go heal after this because I don't think I have enough electrical. My paralysis heals. Electric status heals. That's what they're called, obviously. Uh, that's all the cool kids call them. Hidden power rock. Go. Uh, that didn't do anything. I don't- I just don't want to get status again, because that sucks horribly. I'll try Dragon Breath, maybe that'll work better. Yep, there we go. Alright. Um, Jolteon, keep going. No, 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 no. Okay. Cody and Jolteon. I, I, what I do know, though, is I'm almost completely certain this thing does not have static. It has Poison Point. So I'm just going for the physical attack, and that'll be it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be... I'll run to the... I'll run to the... Yeah, Pokemon Center. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. And, uh... Yeah. May as well take this time to start talking about how what, what I think about this gem. Because it's quite an interesting gym, and it's very different from every other gym ever. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I love the idea of it. The whole roller coaster ride. Oh, there's a trainer, of course. Well, I love the idea of the whole roller coaster, but I gotta say, how it was done isn't very roller coaster ish. When I first saw it, I was thinking bumper cars. There's only two parts of it that are roller coaster ish, and I'll be coming up to those shortly, and I'll point those out. And everything else is just kind of a huge disappointment for a roller coaster. If I want this roller coaster, I'd be so disappointed. Although I absolutely hate roller coasters. Oh, forgot Luxray got Dark type. Which is actually convenient for me because I have Storm Throw. But it means that I was an idiot and used. A uh, dark move on him. First turn. Oh well. It means I demolished him second though. Magneton! Keep going, because I can take a Magneton pretty easily. Storm throw! Alright. Just sweep through everything. 
All right, what's next? Electrode. Eee, that thing's got static too. Or it actually, it probably has aftermath, and I can take aftermath. Well, then again, I'm not sure what I think is more annoying: aftermath or or uh, storm or uh, uh, static. I'm I'm thinking honestly, static is more annoying, but barely. So I don't think I have. Oh yeah, it's got aftermath. Because I have healing items, I can I can heal off stuff like that. Jolteon. Another thing with the Jolteon. Okay. I know how to take care of Jolteon. Ninja knows how to take care of Jolteon. Here we go. I really gotta use Ninja more. I haven't gotten him on screen much, but that's mainly because I've been accidentally leveling him higher than everybody else. Because I level him up first, and then, like, if anything, it's like, oh crap, that's gonna die. Switch into Ninja and have that destroy it. So, yeah, he, he somehow gets higher because of that, just slowly. So, I, I gotta stop doing that. Ninja needs his screen time. Especially since he's a freaking grass dragon. That's pretty awesome. But he's also three levels higher than everybody else, and that's experience that could be spreading out to everybody else. But who needs being fair? I can always grind for that. So, I'll be using... I'll try and use Ninja a little bit more. Yeah. This is what I hate about this gym. Or one of the things I hate about this gym. You face a trainer and then you're just sitting there. Going, oh come on. Yeah, wee. Wait, we Okay. That's kind of act like I'm acting. That's one of the two parts that look like a roller coaster. Okay, got one more trainer. In oh, I just missed it. Come back! Come on! This is part of the annoying part of the- This is definitely the annoying part of the gym. You're just sitting here going, Come on, I could be doing so many things that are better with my time. Like, say, fighting this trainer. But no, I, I have to sit here and wait for the free bumper car that's on a roller coaster track. That's honestly a, a, looks like a digital white pattern. I don't know. It's weird and useless, and I think it's kind of stupid because of that. The rest of the gym isn't near as bad, though. Like, it's such a cool idea, like I've said, but no. It's gotta suck. Wait. Does ground resist poison? And I just didn't know that? Or did you get a new type? I'm not sure which. Well, he's in the sky. May as well set up some toxic spikes. And he missed his attack. Even better. Alright, I'll try a Night Slash. Um... Yeah, wow. I did not know that ground resisted poison. Sorry for the delay there. I have a chart that I was checking. I guess that goes to show just how much poison I use, and that would be not at all. Ever. Emol Emolga. Okay, I know exactly what to do with Emolga. I have trained for this. I've been planning this night and day. It's been keeping me up at night. How to take down Emolgas, because that's this gym's number one threat. And I remember in my playthrough, it's just like every other Pokemon was one of these freaking things. So, this is one of the other reasons I got him Hidden Power Rock again. He, he conveniently had Rock, but that is that is my plan to take down the Emolgas. Rotom, that's not near as much of a threat. I could take that down with like anything. But I'm not going to risk it and send in Fox, even though she's also got Night Slash, because honestly, if I get hit, I'm probably screwed. Whereas with this, I could probably take at least one more hit before I'm screwed. And I believe that's the last trainer in this gym. I'll find out in a second. And, uh, yeah. Gotta wait for the. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Alright, here we go. Come on. Roller coaster ride. And we. That was kind of crappy. And that's the other part that looks like a roller coaster. Yeah, that's the last one for this. 
So I'll be back again with my Pokemon fully healed, and I'll probably redo my team order. Alright guys, I'm back. I decided to go through the loop again, just because why not? Alright. That's just as anticlimactic, honestly, but who cares? Just gonna reorder my team, and we'll be fighting... Alyssa? I don't remember. Starts with an E. Um, I'm gonna be ready for a triple battle. And, yeah, I think that's all I can do. So, I'm gonna fight Alyssa. Alyssa? I don't know. Let me, let me see it. Versus... Yeah. Alyssa. Alyssa. There we go. Alright. And a Molga lead, of course, because what else would this person have aside from a Molgas? I mean, seriously, they all suck in competitive, but hey, why not? Well, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna actually use a strategy because I predicted the U turn and I set up toxic spikes. Or, it's only one layer so far, but. It's gonna screw with everything else, always, so it's, it'll be a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and Poison Fang this. Not really sure what it wants to do. Cotton Guard. <sighs> this freaking jack rabbit kangaroo sheep thing is just gonna stall me. But, I have Storm Throw. That goes right through Cotton Guard because it's a critical hit. So screw that. Charge? Nah. Poison. Gonna die to that. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. Poison is doing work. Got me a kill on Ampharos. That's quite awesome. Don't you love it when a plan comes to action? I'm gonna switch into Mike for this Raichu. Because I don't think it is Thunder, so no guard's not going to help Raichu, and Strength is just going to screw Raichu horribly. Now, if only I could poison my entire team, because that would honestly be a little bit more convenient than getting static every single two seconds. Well, I guess that's not too much... It, it full switched out into something that's weak to rock, so Galvanchilla just will die right here. No chance. I am nine levels higher than her team, so that's interesting. Just making observations here. So in comes Raichu again. It's no threat. I switched this into Raichu, so I'm not threatened at all by it. Okay, it's coming back out. If it wasn't that effective the first time, why do you, why do you think that's going to be that much more effective the second time? So in comes a Molga, something else that'll die right strength. Wow, Mike Sweep going on here. Up oh, static. Mike Sweep's about to end, because I'm not going to leave him in with static. Alright, how about... Right here. Uh, what chaos, because I don't want to send in... Uh, I'm terrible, I just... It just, like, two minutes ago, I said... I'm going to be using Ninja more, and here I'm just using Chaos instead. Ooh, Venoshock. That, that's a good reason to use not Ninja. Hey, it actually got a kill in one hit. Oh, Venoshock. Did not expect that. Mana Trick. And I'll finish the job with Ninja, because why not? I feel like I was overleveled for this gym, or actually had a pretty decent setup for it. Contrary to my belief, I thought I was pretty bad with two water types, but apparently I did a lot better. Let's see, leaf point. And this thing has roar, and then it hits me with like a thunder or something. If I end it up, oh, nope. Static. I don't care. Last Pokemon. That was a uh, kind of pathetically easy gym. Oh wait, there's another Pokemon. Uh, Ah. I'll send in chaos. I thought that was everything. Could have sworn that was everything. Said Striker. Okay. Oh, now it's the last thing. I, I should have waited for the whole music change and whatnot. That's always a good sign. 
I'm gonna get a Venno Shock that too, and that should be game. Alright. Oh, no. This thing's resilient. Screw everything. Oh, it's got Flame Charge. Oh, God. That's not good. Um, okay. Okay. Alright. I think I can do this. I'm gonna Giga Drain to be safe. Oh, it's faster, but it did not use Flame Charge again, so I'm fine. Or not. Oh. Great. Chaos is just died. Great. Oh god. What the hell? Of all things, it died to a wild charge. I'm just kind of dumbstruck right now. I just don't know what to say. Oh god, Hyper Potion. This thing still has fight, too. And here I thought I was done, like, completely. I wonder if this thing has, like, guts or something. Because that seemed like it did way too much damage. Okay, let's see. Volt Switch. I think you can take that. Yeah, and then Storm Throw should finish him off. Alright, there we go. That was freaky. So, I guess Chaos is dead, too. So... Great. I liked Chaos now. He could actually one-shot things. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. He was better off as a Shelmet, where he could barely live at things. Wild Charge is nice, though. Maybe, maybe something can learn that. Probably not. But I'll, I'll keep it on hand. It's... Oh, it's got recoil. I don't exactly want that. Never mind. Oh, whoops. Talk to her again. I guess that means I need to find something else to put on my team. Tough choice. Off the top of my head, I have a good guess of what I could use, but I, I want to think about this a little bit more. So I'm sorry, Chaos, I failed you. Sort of. I don't know, you had a good run. Episode... 2? Yeah, I, I think the end of episode 2 until... I believe this is 17. That's a pretty good run. Especially on a Nuzlocke. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll on over. Ah, that's such a messy scroll. Really gotta get better. I should practice this, like, just recording. Just scrolling right now. So, here we are. Rip. Silver and Chaos. I am sorry I've failed you both. Especially Chaos, you actually had a moveset. Silver, eh. Whatever. Uh, do note that my evolutionary stone is no longer here. He was right here. That was his placeholder. He's not anywhere else. Just in case you're wondering. Alright, just to confirm that. So, replacements. I got, uh, Kayo. Who is Venomoth? He's got Signal Beam, Poison Power, Stun Power, or Stun Spore, and Psy Beam. That's cool. Psy Beam's nice. Signal Beam is nice because I don't have any bug types anymore. He's got Wonder Skin. I can't remember what that does. I just see it in the corner. I think the status change stuff is like a. Uh, like Leer has a chance to miss or something. Its stats are kind of boring, and I can't see its nature from here. Uh, let's see. Then we have the Frey, the Armaldo, which is, uh, quite attack of- uh, quite offensive and has no defense, so that's kind of what I had before, though. Then I have, uh, Aranarion, who is just freaking awesome, so that'd be a nice addition. So this would be, like, the most simple switch. Uh, and then Freza, a good special attacker. Hidden Power Ice, which is always nice. Uh, and he's modest and has really high special attack. And then Karpa, who has Thunder Wave, and then a unique typing in Levitate. Uh, don't, for don't remember what Hidden Power it is. So that's also nice. So I'm thinking off the top of my head, 
I want something to help me capture things, because I'm quite bad at that. So it's between Rotom and uh, Kaio, I think, because they're obviously the best at catching things. Let's look at typing. Uh, weak to ground, weak to ice, and weak to uh, flying and dragon and bug. Uh, weak to electric, weak to grass, weak to electric, weak to grass, weak to fighting, weak to bug, uh, and weak to flying, weak to psychic. Then let's go back to our options. Weak to ice, weak to psychic. Um, wait, is this flying or bug? I don't remember. If it's bug, it's not weak to ice. In which case, weak to fire. I, th I honestly, I think Rotom would be better, because I can then get a... Uh, Heat Rotom later on, and then I'll have a, my fire type. So, Karpa, you're on the team. Congrats. I'll bump everybody up. How's up? If this was cooperating, that'd be a lot easier. Okay, there we go. So, Karpa, welcome to the team. I'm just gonna scroll back over. And Chaos, rest in peace. Hey, you know, I should cut for these. That would work too. So yeah, I'm sorry Chaos, I've completely failed you. Karpa, welcome aboard. Your loneliness is now over because you have a team. You have a spot on my team. Alright, so I think it's time to invade the next route. Oh, I should switch Karpa into the lead, so since he's leveled up, I'll take on the next guy. Oh, not the next guy. I'll charge into the next route. I think I have a Sharon battle here, though, but I can test out Karpa against him. Oh, right, this is a long cutscene, so... You know what, I'm gonna end this one a little bit early, because uh, there's, like, a long cutscene right on the other side of this, and I don't want to get into that, so... Yeah. Hey, there's me! It's talking about me on that, on that little board there, that's cool. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like if you liked it, obviously. And subscribe or leave a comment if you want to say anything about this. Like, if you like my commentary or uh, have any suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.